And on the third day, like Chilean miners from the cave, the Easter Bunny rose to play Dungeons and Dragons. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Moral Ambiguity. I think we decided to call this Frozen Sick. Is that what we had decided? Yep. Okay. I got uh, the art so... made and everything. Yay! That was a really bad intro, by the way. So skip about as much of that as you want. Um, or don't. When we last left off, it has been a week and a half since we played. Ish. Maybe longer. Um, so if I forget some details or mess some details up, eh, you know. So uh, you all were adventurers uh, in uh, the uh, Pale Bank Village, an isolated settlement um, in the, uh, what was it? The, uh, what is it called? God damn it. I had it pulled up here a second ago. Something uh, Tundra. I don't have my book out. It's the uh, Frigid Depths, along yeah. the cold shore of the Frigid Depths uh, within Wildmount. Uh, and you had been given a uh, request by an elf named Elro to try to figure out what killed um, a dwarf man named Ergon Winth, uh, and you, uh, who had been exploring uh, a very scary place called Isalcross, and had brought back several artifacts. And it seems as if those artifacts might have had some kind of curse that has been turning the people who have handled them into statues, frozen statues, killing them in the process, we assume. Um, you uh, do some, some investigating in town, uh, or did some investigating in town, I should say. Uh, came across another uh, dwarf woman named Togi Lutan, who had stolen those artifacts from the curiosity shop in town and had also gotten sick with whatever this frost uh, curse is. Um, you then investigated the um, curiosity shop to find a bunch of bandits, uh, and the curiosity shop owner had also been cursed and turned into an ice statue. Uh, you interrogated the bandits, and by interrogating, I mean killed at least two of them in brutal fashion. Um, and that let you on a trail to uh, a place called the Croker Cave, where um, Tulsi's sister... Sorry, Tolgi. I said Tulsi that entire time last time. Uh, Tolgi's sister was held up with another set of bandits... Um, and her name was Halil. Uh, so you, your plans now are to head to uh, the Croker Cave to find Halil and to find the rest of these uh, items and try to figure out what is causing this curse. Uh, or seemingly to try to put an end to the curse or to counteract the curse or do something like that. Sounds about right to me. Yeah, sounds... sounds <clears throat> So, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead of the traveling. Uh, you all leveled up during the course of the travel. Uh, you're now level two. Congratulations. Woo! I'm, I'm assuming take... we've also had a rest then? Uh, yes, yes. You've all been able to do a long rest. It is a bit of a travel. It's a couple of days. Uh, it's very cold. Uh, everything's frozen over. Any threats you might see, you can see them all come uh, a mile away and are able to steer clear of them. Um, because of the nature of the area. Um, and it's not long before you come to the Croker Cave. Elro had given you pretty well pretty well instructions, so you're easily able to get there. He also loaned you a wagon and a few horses to get you there, so you didn't have to worry about travel. Um, just to make a note, because of the casting time, while we were en route, I have cast Find Familiar, so I have my uh, my Tressum okay. familiar with me. Yeah. Uh, hang on one second here, because it's only been the second episode, and I have forgotten names. So um, if everyone would like to reintroduce yourselves, I'm going to pull up my my sheet, my cheat sheet for names. Uh, Jake, if you want to go first. I'm playing Elor, the human blood hunter. Um, pretty much just a brick shit house of armor and uh, wolf fur sort of 
mantle on his shoulders. Hell yeah. Oh, and a flail and javelins and a net. Anything interesting you get for second level? I could set my flail. All right, on fire. moving along. <laughs> you can do what? I can set my flail on fire. Damn. Okay. Uh, Matt. What's up? I'm playing Fallbrook, a Lotus Den halfling rogue. And you um, got you got evasion for a second level. Or uh, what'd you get? I don't see anything on my sheets. Okay, moving along. <laughs> uh, Jace. Uh, I'll, oh, I'll yeah, let sorry. you know when it happens. I'll let you know when it happens. Okay, interesting. Uh, Jace. Uh, I'm get playing. cutting action. Right. Okay, yeah, where you can just do certain things as bonus feats. Right. Uh, I forget which ones you get at second and third level for rogues. I'm playing Kelgrim Tome Finder. Uh... Uh, rock gnome lore master wizard. Okay. At, at second level, I get the fun little bits of. I can basically when I cast a spell, I can change what type of damage it does, be it uh, lightning, oh. fire, ice, whatever. Oh, geez. Okay. You okay? That's All, interesting. You went elementalist. Is that what it is? Well, there's that, and lore then I seeker, get right. Uh, lore master right lore master right i also get spell secrets where once per long rest i can change the uh saving throw of a spell too so like okay cool so like if it takes a will save i can make it do a con save or whatever. okay interesting all right fantastic um and then nick oh um <clears throat> i'm playing uh Seeker, a tiefling, uh, duh, fuck, what, what did we decide on? I think we ended up, I ended up calling it a Dimension Blade. Dimension Blade, yeah, a Dimension Blader. Um, just, uh, fucking hell, I don't have my notes with me, so I'm having to go all right. with, like, all this second-hand information, right? So and everyone so is like, second level and Nick is first level, cool. Uh, all right. I mean, I have second level, <laughs> Um... Basically, Nick's a Keyblade warrior. Yeah, it's a little at second, silly. At second level, I get a, I've got command points now. Um, Ooh. And command points are like monk, are like key points where I get to use them. Did you just pick a monk with a sword, you garbage human? <laughs> I, I'll be honest, the very beginning, and the reason I was like, oh, let me try this is because for like the first three levels, it's pretty much just a monk with a sword. All right, well. Okay, cool. So you guys make it to the Kroger Cave. Um, uh, I don't think any of you have l were residents of the town, so you don't really have a lot of information about Kroger Cave. Uh, if any of you would like to ask Elro a question before you leave about what it is, I will let you make just a general uh, knowledge or history check. Um, um, yeah, I'll ask. Okay. Just, just a simple. Uh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta remember the voice that I did. Oh, it was Eastern European. Did you talk like this the whole time, right? No, fuck you. No, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I did a Kermit voice. Yeah, it was Kermit. You Kermit the Frog here. It Do you know like what's in the back of this cave here? <laughs> there, there we go. Um, do, you, do you know what's in the uh, back of this cave? Do you Ray, know what lives here? We do in Ray Romano. Uh, <laughs> what did you roll? Oh, <laughs> have a second. Are we doing Ray Romano? Is that... uh, no. D d just to point out, uh, I have history as one of my uh, proficient skills. C can I make it instead? There, yeah, I roll. No. I rolled a nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cause considering you're proficient in history, maybe you've read about it before. I'll let you make one as well. I'll be good and nice this time. This time. Okay. So this time. Da, da, da. Everybody gets one. One. 24. Um, so, you know, the cave gets its name from some of its residents, which are giant ice frogs. Oh, joy. Um... <laughs> It is entrances on the shores of the frigid depths due north of the Pell Bank village. You know that much. 
Um, you know it has been a hive of villain of scum and villainy. Yes, I went there. Uh, bandits tend to use it because of the giant ice frogs. Make natural guards. Uh, they do make very good natural cards. Uh, there's also legends of a much even bigger ice frog uh, that's very old, uh, named Old Croaker. That's old the information. Croaker. That's the information you get from Elro. His name is Old Croaker, and he's lived. Uh, so apparently, he's lived in those caves for years. So that's what you get. Um, so I think I need to pull. So I'm, I'm still sort of figuring this all out. I'm gonna give you a map. Now, of course, your characters do not have this map in real life. This is just for your purposes, because right. I'm an, I'm a nice guy. Um, so the entrance is at C1 there, and as you approach, my computer crashes. So that's fun. Um, we still hear you though. No, it was just the screen went, went out for a minute, so that's good. Oh. So you see, um, there doesn't appear to be any signs of any patrols or any guards anywhere. Uh, but you do see tracks of, of uh, shoes. It seems like there have been a lot of bandits going back and forth from the caves. Um, beyond the cave entrance, as you kind of get closer to it, you do see um, a plume of smoke rising from the ground... Um, venting through narrow chimneys uh, from where where C6 is there. You can kind of see that as you go in. Um, so, yeah, uh, Elro tells you that... Uh, El Elro, like, had mentioned that they know that the frogs are dangerous. That's why Hillel has been using it as a base of operations. Um, it seems like she might have domesticated the frogs and are using them as, as maybe like guards. Hmm. Interesting. At least that's the, that's the information that seems to be the case. What do you do? Alrighty. So basically well. we're at the mouth of the cave. Mm-hmm. So. That seems like a puddle of water in front of us. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yes. How deep is it? I don't know. You can't tell from where you are. All right. Um. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go take a look then. Let's just take a look and see at the edge of the water. I'm on. Okay. Give me one second here. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Dice. Oh boy, this is off to a good start. Mm-hmm. That's a one. Oh boy, good womp, job. Womp. Womp womp. All right, one second here. So it is very dark, and you didn't quite remember to light a torch. So as you get near it, you can't quite see much in in the pool. As you do get closer to it, though, uh, you can tell it's it's very murky. Um, and every few moments, you hear some loud croaking um and a as you move over to the pool to kind of look into it uh you look it looks like a, a like a, a kind of a decent sized like stone like a gray stone like well actually it's like two gray stones kind of near each other and then two eyes open up on both the stones and they both splash out of the water and attack you oh um, they're going to attempt to bite you. You're human, right, Nick? Oh, no, you're a tiefling, but you're medium size. Medium size, yeah. Okay. Uh, they're pretty big. Like, you think they could probably swallow your halfling friend. Oh, they can definitely get the gnome, then. Keep them away from me. And also the what gnome, yes. What constitutes size? Is it just, like, humans are medium no matter what? Even if it's, like, a smaller human? Yeah, for the medium, most part. Medium is generally, what, five to seven feet? Something like that, yeah. And then, yeah, under um, five is small. Nick, does a 15 hit you? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, well, it, and it, then, it, 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 it's the well, same. Which means okay, so it has advantage, so 15 is the highest. 
And then, ooh, excuse me. Uh, and then does uh, a 22 hit you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they do both hit. They both had advantage because you they you surprised or they surprised you. You were not expecting them to be there. Um, and you're going to take. Yeah, uh, as you get also as you get closer, you realize the water kind of as you're nearing the pool, the water kind of starts coming up to your waist very quickly, and you realize that the frogs are probably hiding in very deceptively deep water. Uh, for the <laughs> gnome and the halfling, it's coming up to about your neck. Oh boy! Yeah, it's not great. <clears throat> I never said I walked into the water. No, I'm saying it would if you got into it. Okay, gotcha. Now, I'm not saying that you're in there. You guys are on the shore. Okay, so, uh, Nick, you're going to take... Oh, that's max damage. That's uh, seven points of damage. Uh, and the first one is going to grapple onto your leg and is holding you there. Hmm. And then the second one is going to do three points of damage as it bites onto your arm. Uh, it doesn't hold you in place, luckily. Uh, but it does. But the first one is definitely holding onto your leg. Um, I need everyone to roll initiative. All right. Here it goes. What is my... Oh, a pretty good initiative. Yeah! 16 for me. 17. All right, hold on to those real quick. Hey! Gonna... Way to wait. It's the natural 20 on initiative. Nice. 24. I think I'm probably going first with a 24. And you hear a, a, it make a noise like... Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get you guys pulled up here. So the froggos, big boy doggos, Cadillac, Rago, I don't know, never mind, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. You tried. Um, At least that's that's the thing. Jake, what'd you roll? 17. Hello. 17 for Hello. Fallbrook. 16. 16 for Fallbrook. Uh, Jace. 24. Woo! Damn. Where are them rolls at in the other game? Yeah, I know, right? I you rolled a natural beaten... 20 for initiative. You would have beaten Jack a couple of times with a roll like that. Uh, and then, uh, Sika. That's a 7. Woof. Okay, well, you're not last. Okay, up first is Jace. Yeah, that's what I figured. Two frogs uh, about, uh, I would say, 20 feet away from you. All right, quick question. I do have dark yeah. vision. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How can many see... can I see within 60 feet? Two. There Just were two, two? There were two okay. in this pool, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure there's nothing else... Waiting on us. Yeah. Um. As far as why? you can tell, as, as far as you can tell, there are two in this pool. That might be might go deeper than. That's my new voice, guys. Get used to that. Yeah. <clears throat> there are two of them. <laughs> can All I right. not? If I launch no. a firebolt at one of them, am I gonna have to take penalties because they're latched on? I don't see why. Okay. Does the firebolt say that you would take penalties if it's latched on? Well, no, because it's I'm firing into two things that are. Grappled. Oh no 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 no! The worst case scenario, you'll just miss. Okay. Then yeah, I'm gonna cast the firebolt cantrip. Okay. Does. Does a thirteen hit the one that's uh, on his arm? I don't know. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How am I supposed to know? I thought it clamped onto my leg. Uh, it clamped on. Well, one of them bit his arm, and then the other one clamped onto his leg. So, yeah. uh, oh no, I'm trying to get the one off his leg. I thought the one clamped onto his arm. No, then it's the one that clamped onto his leg. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That hits. It takes two fire damage. Two. Okay. Yeah. He sort of recoils and kind of pulls. He doesn't let go, but he sort of recoils and kind of pulls Seeker a bit to uh to one to like to one side. It doesn't move you out of the space, but like kind of drags you a bit with his big string strong. Uh, I'm kind of figuring ice frog, firebolt may do some extra. Um, you don't. It doesn't seem like it did. Okay. But it didn't also not hurt it, so it's probably for the best. Uh, does it have weaknesses? Actually, no, no, it does not have any weaknesses. So that okay. we know of. That you know. Of. Dun dun dun. So I've never asked, what do uh what do yeah. what, does, what does it mean to have a resistance to fire in game wise? Uh a resistance to fire means you take half damage from fire. Okay. Weakness to uh weakness to fire means you uh take double damage from it. Yeah. If you're vulnerable you take double, if you're resistant you take half. Well, you guys can just set me on fire. I'll be fine. I'd rather you not, but okay. Um Elor, you're up. Yeah, what was I worried about? He's a tiefling. He won't um, fire with him. That's a good point. I mean, I, <laughs> I guess the only thing left to do is to smash. Rip and tear is Big smash. Hey, Lord, yeah. smash! Um, I don't think that this requires busting out the blood magic. So, I'm just going to use... The, the what? Excuse me? Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> That's what he calls his gun. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take a take a big hefty swing with the flail at uh, who appears to be assailing my comrades the most direly. Well, one is kind of dragging uh, by uh, dragging Seeker by the leg, and you see some blood coming out of it because that one did the most damage. Like it kind of focused that one, but yeah. Yeah, it's not great. And you know what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you're just reminding me of Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's a, it's a little, it's a little Gabriel Iglesias, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start stalking towards that creature, and as a bonus okay. action, I will use Crimson Right. Um, okay. So. Crimson what now? Uh, so the crimson chin. Uh, Elor probably utters some some words. Some uh, dank shit. I would say for his theme in celestial, um, some sort of it seems to be some sort of rite um, or some sort of ritual chant. And uh, uh, Seeker is probably the only one who would see it. But as he starts like approaching. Um, Blood starts to like seep out of the eye slits in his helmet. Woof. Um, and the, his flail uh, becomes enveloped in fire. Wait, hang on. Did you just fucking make the guy from Blasphemous? I don't know what that is. So okay, not okay. intentionally. So yes. So the answer is yes. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he uses yeah. a flail though. But just that great, that big sounds very similar. Arcing swing at the uh, thing. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. That is, uh, where are my attack actions? Uh, 17. Um, seven damage, or seven to hit? 17. Oh, yeah, no, that definitely hits. Ooh. Uh, Seeker, do you have dark vision? You're a tiefling. Do tieflings yeah, have dark yeah. vision? Yes, I do. Okay, so yeah, then you can kind of see, it's not, you can't tell it's blood because dark vision doesn't have color, but you can kind of see, like, so I see some something liquid sh- oozing sh- out of his eyes. Out of his eye sockets. Yeah, you know what? That seems okay. I'll see what's right. wrong with that. All right. I've Me seen either, it either, man. Yeah, that seems weird. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Anyway. All right, so it's going to take... Ooh. Uh... That can't be right. <laughs> 35 damage. This can't be right. It says I have a... Oh, wait, what? 
fuck? I'm so confused. It says I have a plus six to damage with the flail, but I that can't be right. That doesn't seem right. Uh, well, yeah, what's that... your what's your what's your strength bonus? Plus four. It sounds like it's trying to add your strength and your proficiency together on yeah, the damage. I, I would think that D and D Beyond <laughs> would. I mean, you would think. Mine only. Mine doesn't uh, add in proficiency to my damage. Do I have a fighting style? That that might be it. I, where do I find my fighting style? God, I don't know. It's your character. It would be on. It would be under features and traits. Yeah, features and traits um, would be your fighting. Yeah, features and traits. Blood crystal. Whatever oh, fighting say. style. Yeah. Okay. Since I don't. Okay, have... Okay, so I guess it is a plus six. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't have any other weapons, so I have a plus two to damage rolls. Um. Jesus. Okay. Shit. Well. One handed. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, you know what? Thank you for reminding me. I just realized I probably should pick my character's fighting style. Then that is fifteen uh, damage. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> this character's broken. This character's busted. <laughs> Fuck three off. Three of it is fire. Now you know <laughs> it, it's a. You said it's a flail, right? Yeah. So you just swing this flail down on this creature. Is it like a? It, when I say I think flail, I think a chain flail. Is it like a chain flail? Yeah. It's, just a it's, big. Yeah, it's the it's the handle. The short chain and the the ball. Isn't so that you technically go a morning this star? Thing down, and I don't know if you've ever seen uh, part part was it four of JoJo when the fucking dude hits the frog with the with the shovel and the frog's eyes pop out in different directions. But that's basically what happens here. <laughs> you cave this giant frog's skull in and its eyeballs like shoot out in two different directions in fact uh seeker make a dex uh dex uh check for me just a, ba a je dexterity check is that a goddamn motherfucking jojo reference a little bit man these rolls tonight man that's a that's a 12 Okay, yeah, you, I mean, it's not that big a deal. You're able to catch one of the eyeballs as it goes by. You just reach your hand out as it goes by and you grab it. And now you just have a frog's eye in your hand. And it's about the size of, like, a golf ball. Maybe a little bit bigger than a oh. golf ball. Maybe, like, a baseball. Um, as the, the eyeballs just, it's like, poink! And it just, just the whole thing just caves down. It's Which, dead, is what I'm saying. <laughs> what, what, uh, what way did the other eye go flying? Uh, it went flying back, uh, so you guys would have been... Uh, it would have been left off into the darkness, okay. into the water. You were I should flashing also the water. add okay. that I took three damage for using my blood rate. Okay. Um, so the blood please, doesn't please come make from sure nowhere. That you keep, please make sure that you do keep track of that, Molly, so that when you do die by your own blood rate, I can oh, yeah. make sure that you Stop. die properly. That's a spoiler, by the way, in case anyone's yes. keeping up on Critical Role. Like two Sorry years? about that. That's true, but people that, are that quarantined That is a two-year-old right spoiler. Well, people yeah. are quarantined right now, and they're watching it for the first time, so... The hell's happening from, Mo like, Molly Mock dies. Um, 15 fucking episodes, and they're like 120 now or something? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> that, he, well, he's dead. Fallbrook, you're up. So there's one left, huh? There's one left. So How far away from it am I? Um, you are about 20 feet. All right, so I'm going to go my full movements. Okay. And um, is there any way that I could maneuver myself to be in flanking? Uh, yeah, I would say you... Uh, hmm. Yeah, you could be in flanking with Seeker. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and stab it with my rapier. Okay, go for it. And that and that is a sneak attack. Is it? That is a 16. A 16 will hit. Uh, go ahead and roll, because you have advantage. Roll it again, see if you get a crit. Alright. Yeet. Now, that's a 19. Okay, I, I didn't hear what the number was, but I assumed it was a no. It was a 19. Ah, damn. Close. I know. <laughs> Alright, so that's... 14 points of damage. Fucking Jesus. Yeah, so the, uh, the it's not paying attention probably cuz it just got it, its brother just got murdered and it's like staring mouth agape at Elor and then its eye just gets pierced. 
and it you pierce through the skull and into the other eye, and as you pull it out, you have two eyes shish kebobbed onto your rapier, and it just falls over, and blood is just pooling I, out of it now. I hold up my rapier, and I'm just like, hey, check it out. Frog kebab! Jesus Christ. Uh, and they're both very dead. Wow, that was way easier do than I, I do thought it was. Do coming. any of you do any of you want frog eyes? It's a delicacy in some places. Jesus. Is Anyone? It, it is. Um, I would I'm, assume I'm so. Good. I'm good. Have you ever been to Jorhas? I'm gonna pop the eye <laughs> frog eye I got in my mouth. Oh, uh, you're just gonna bite into it like an apple? No, just like I'll, It's I'll the end. size of a baseball. <laughs> you didn't say that. You yes, I did. You did. <laughs> I okay. said it was golf ball, maybe baseball size. Yeah, golf ball. So I was like, I can pop a golf ball in. And then I said baseball. Because <laughs> I, I was wrong. Baseball. Yeah, well okay. then. Listen, if you just unhinge your jaw like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> just And then you squeeze around a tree to break the bone. Just, it's, uh, um, okay. Well, he's <laughs> fucking dead. All right. Uh, it... I mean, it's it tastes very sour. It's very cold, like the the creature's flesh is very cold to the touch. Um. So yeah, they are both very dead. What do you guys do? So I uh, looks like we have two different ways to go. We could go to uh, we can go left or right. Um. Do can I see anything down these hallways? Well, no, you said it's uh, dark, and I don't think yeah. I have dark vision. I have dark vision. Do I see anything down the left or right? I have dark vision, too. Do do I see anything? Um, I would say that you, uh, uh, on the, so if you guys are coming, if you're facing south, on the left is C3, uh, you see, um, a lot of stalactites coming down from the um, uh, from the ceiling, and then uh, going down to the right, C two. Um, it's a little bit too far away. You think you might see a torch in the distance? Ah, uh, I would say yeah, that's what, like eighty feet? Yeah, about eighty feet down. You see what looks like a torch. At C two, you said. C two, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, which way would you guys want to go? Uh. Well, <laughs> you're a rogue, right, Matt? Yep. You could scout one uh, one way, and I can send my familiar to scout the other. That sounds like a good idea. Which do you want to do? Um. Looking at the map, I'll scout towards C3, so to the left from, like, from our okay. point of view, it would be to the left. Okay, sure. Uh, so you're trying to move quietly, correct? Yep. Further? Uh, go ahead and give me a... Um, stealth arena. Stealth roll? Yeah, well, is a stealth roll, and then make a... Well, well, make the stealth roll, and then we'll see what we do, depending on that. Oh, come on. That's a 17. Okay. Um, make a dexterity check, uh, an acrobatics check with advantage. With advantage? Yes. Oops. 18. Okay. So as you're sneaking through these, uh, as you're kind of taking it slow through these caves, uh, you notice the stalactites seem a bit more round on the bottoms than you uh, expected. Because, okay, you know, usually stalactites I have... I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, fuck this place. Fuck this place. Well, it takes you a couple seconds to realize, and you look down at the floor, and your feet sort of slide just ever so slightly. And you realize there's just fucking bat guano all over this floor. And there are bats hanging from... Basically all of the it's a giant it's a giant swarm of bats. I'm gonna go back the other way. Okay, actually, hang on. Uh, gotta respect the fiction. Do you have dark vision? No. Then you don't see that. You do notice the back one though, but you can't see the ceiling high enough because of how dark it is. <laughs> Shit. But you could um, probably take a guess your, from the amount say, of guano. What's your What's your intelligence at? 
my intelligence is 15. Then I'd say you'd be able to deduce that what with the bat guano. I mean, yeah, you can't see them, so you don't know if they're there right now, but you assume this is probably some kind of roosting location for bats. I apologize. Yeah. I forgot that I forgot that halflings did not have dark vision. No, you're fine. Um, so, so yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna actually I could probably keep pushing forward. It's up to you. I'm gonna keep pushing forward silently. Okay, make another acrobatics check. Ah, uh, that went way out of anywhere. Oh no. Uh that's a seven. Uh you fall right on your ass. You're gonna make me fall into bat shit. Yep, you sure do. Uh because Fuck. you're because you're taking it slowly. If you had just been moving normally, you probably wouldn't have even needed a check, but because you're taking each step very slowly and carefully, sometimes that just happens. And the slower you're moving, the easier it is for your foot to slip. Um, Heck you. I need you to uh, make another stealth check to stop from calling out as you hit, hit the ground. That's a 26. Okay, yeah, that's more than enough. So you, you hit the ground and you stop yourself. You're like, <laughs> it's just like, Ugh! and you realize that you have bat shit all over your back now, which is not great for you. I get up and just saunter back in shame. Or saunter forward in shame. Are you going through that the, the cave there? Yeah, I'm I'm heading down towards uh, C4. Okay. No, it'll explode. So while you do that, uh, you notice you notice um, ten empty bedrolls are arranged in a circle around a cold fire pit at the center of the cavern. Uh, chicken bones, empty wine bottles, and spirit bottles and other waste food waste litters the floor. Now we'll get back to you. Um, yeah, it's probably a bandit camp. Yeah. Um, so, Felgrim imagine- or Kelgrim, does your uh, ex- uh, why don't you introduce your familiar and tell me if it has a dark vision. Uh, they do have dark vision, 60 feet. Okay. Um, it was, <clears throat> it was Fallbrook. Was your character's name, Matt? Yes. As Fallbrook goes off, you see me just kind of do a couple of little movements with my hands and, uh, all of a sudden this gray tabby cat jumps out of this little, like, pocket on my shirt mm-hmm. just because i keep that it's where the pocket dimension for it is just to be that joke fair <laughs> <laughs> but uh what's unique about this gray tabby is it has a set of uh great horned owl wings cool that's really cool and to keep with the whole physics and quantum shit with my uh the time and gravity magic, his name is Schrodinger. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's fair. That's very good. I like so, it. So, yeah, I'm going to send him scouting down along uh, towards C2. Okay. I said I said dark vision, but it actually doesn't really matter uh, because uh, it, there is a torch in this area. Um, now, let me read a portion of this area for you. Uh, the slow dripping water uh, from the ceiling flows to a pool in the southwest corner of this cavern. A large wooden bucket with a lid sits near the edge of the pool. Um, a dwarf and two elves bundled in layers of winter clothing are throwing dead bats into the air. Two giant blue skin frogs leap up to snatch the bats in midair, seemingly as part of some sort of training session. It looks like they're trying to train the frogs. Okay. And I can see through my familiar senses, so. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, can I hear anything? Like them talking or any of that? Uh, just the general. Hey, catch this! Yeah, good job. Yeah, okay. hold the bat. You know they're do- they're doing some training stuff. So okay, nothing. Don't piss there. Yeah, that that kind of thing. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
do I notice anything that like stands out other than the training? Uh, this location, no. There's you can see that the cave, like uh, obviously from the from the map there, you can see that the cave kind of curves uh, around, and you can see a little bit of light coming from that section. But where it is right here, uh, they're just throwing the fish to the uh, to the frogs. Okay, so there's the two humans and two frogs. Correct. Uh, there's uh uh three humans. Uh, no, it's three. One dwarf and two elves, and okay. then two frogs. One dwarf, two elves, three frogs. Okay. Two um, frogs. It's a total of five creatures you can see. Okay. Then, yeah, I'm going to have Schrodinger come back, and I'll relay that to the rest of the party that's around me. Okay. So, that's so what's you all, that. So, you, you guys all know what's down there now. So, we got that. Has uh, Fallbrook come back? <laughs> uh, I would say about about this time, yeah. And you notice his back is a little white. Uh, can I swim in this water? You certainly can. It does. It's not great. It's very murky and gross. You can wash your cloak in it if you want. Yeah. Or whatever you're wearing on your back. I would say, yeah, Fallbrook? That's what I'm going to do. Fallbrook, did you live up to your name there? I sure did. <laughs> oh no oh sad boy I'm uh, not having a good time so uh, which way do you guys want to go oh yeah I relayed to them that all that was down that way it was just a room that probably had nesting bats in it and mm -hmm. then um, there's a uh, an empty bandit like encampment up ahead Mm. Well, and you can gauge based on him saying that that what you the light that you saw as as it curved left, um, is probably is probably that band that same bandit cap. All right. Well, I don't think we can all sneak through the uh, the bat cave. Mm hmm. So, do we want to just take out the bandits and frogs down there or try and take that path and sneak by? I feel like uh, we could try to sneak by the bandits. I mean, I'm all at you so. in my armor with my flaming flail. <laughs> Ah, um, yes. I have, I, I, hmm, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, Is it go full murder hobo? What if, now what if we were to get the, uh, bats to attack the bandits? How would we go about doing that? Hmm. Uh, I can cast, uh, this spell called Thaumaturgy. And it, uh, it lets me do all sorts of cool shit, like, you know, turn lights on and off, and shout really loud, make my eyes turn, like, purple. But it also has the ability to make a sound, but it comes from a different place other than my mouth. Like, I can make a sound, like, for instance, I could make the sound of, like, a thunder crack from the direction of the bandits, so that... The bats will wake up and go towards them. The bats would probably actually go away from the sound. So uh, I would make the sound of like a thunder where we are. And then the bats would go away towards the Which bandits. would then draw the attention of the bandits to us. Give me um, give me a nature check, uh, Seeker. Nature check. This is Oh, now I get a fucking good roll. 18. Uh, you guess what's probably going to happen is you're going to you're going to create that noise and the bats are just going to leave the cave because they get woken up and immediately fly away. It doesn't matter where the noise is coming from. It matters that you woke them up. And that's the first thing the bats are going to do is try to leave the cave. Now they may come back fairly quickly, but they're not going to go towards whatever the noise or away from whatever the noise was. 
Well, I fucking tried. It's a nice try. We should probably just attack them then. I mean, if we Does attack... anyone have any objections to we, that? If we attack the bandits, the bats are going to notice it. Well, no, the bats are pretty far away. Mm. How many bandits do we have? There are three bandits and two frogs with the bandits. I mean, we could probably take care of them. I feel confident in our ability to handle that. I don't like the way you said that, but well, I do admire the confidence. Let me find something <laughs> to alter my voice so it sounds like I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but right. while I do that, carry on. Absorb the liquid through your through your throat hole. <laughs> Absorb the liquid through your urethra. Oh, oh what? Wow. All right. Well, that was the <laughs> podcast, everyone. <laughs> That's Bye. not how that works, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. What do you guys want to do? I would, I would assume we just go ahead and attack those bandits. It sounds like we're going murder. Okay. Hobo. Okay, how yeah, do you guys want like to do it, that? Yeah. I take off all of my clothes and sc run screaming naked <laughs> into the room. No, okay. Uh, I'm kidding. So um, you run screaming naked into the room. I said I'm kidding. Are you? Yes. But are you, though? I am. I don't believe you. You don't need to believe me because what I said is true. Dang. Well, all right then. All right, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak a little bit ahead, just to make sure everything's, you know, situated. There's no hidden traps or thingamabobs. Okay, so you go to sneak ahead. Go ahead and give give me a um, stealth check. That's a sixteen. Okay, give me one second here. I am pulling up each of the various character sheets for the different creatures you were going to fight. You know, surprisingly, oh of, of all the weird things that I have, a medieval helmet is not one of them. Mm. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, I have a firefighter helmet. Uh, I have a... Belgian paratrooper helmet from the 1950s. Wow, that's cool. Damn. That's random. Um, yeah. That's all I've got as far as helmets, besides, like, a fencing mask. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to give you the right. I'm going to say the only ones that are uh, able to do a regular, proper perception check are the giant ice frogs, because they are f technically sort of facing you. Whereas the others have their back to you because they're throwing ah. uh, bats at the frogs. So that is not enough. That's a 14. And that is also a 14. Woo! So yeah, no one, no one notices you as you begin to sneak up on them. Sweet. I want to um, get up behind one of the bandits and do a, uh, for me, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so there's uh, the dwarf and the two elves. I'm gonna get the dwarf. Okay. Because he's my size. Wow. <laughs> that's easier racist. To get that's easier. racist. No, it's not. No, it no. Makes it, easier, <laughs> it makes, it easier, makes it easier to stab him in the throat. It, yeah, it's not All racist. Right, yeah, go ahead and roll with advantage. It's picking a fight with somebody his own size. Yeah. Wow. Otherwise, okay. you have to make like an this acrobatics is, check, right? I mean, it's this is good. Yeah, this is good because the first roll would be a total of twenty-six. Okay. The second roll was a natural one. Wow. So, I'm good. So yeah, no, so, you, you definitely do hit. So go ahead and roll damage and uh, roll your sneak attack. Tell me how you how you hit him and probably kill him. So I have my uh, rapier out. Okay. And I'm just gonna go right up behind him. And just shove it into the back of his neck. Oh, the jack route. I'm proud. You've learned. 
<laughs> That's um, a total of 10 points of damage. Wow. Okay. Um, you, so you, <coughs> he's, he's throwing bats to the frogs, right? Yeah. And, uh, you hear him say something along the lines of, eh, it's a good lad, throw, pick it up, and eat it. Uh, jump, jump higher, 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 damn it. And as he's saying higher, damn it, he, he throws it and he seems to turn just a little bit. So you don't quite nick the femoral, no, it's not femoral artery. It's the artery in the neck. You don't carotid. quite get the, nick the carotid artery, but you get him like through the side of the neck and you hear him <coughs> and you don't see it, but you, but blood like pools out of his mouth in a gout. As he gets stabbed right in the right in the neck, the side of the neck. Um, he's not dead. He ain't looking great. Uh, I need you he's guys to roll dead, initiative. Just gravely wounded. Yes. Damn it! I was never mind. Fuck it. We're too late. Fifteen. Uh, hold it. You don't have to scream it at me. <laughs> Give me a second. I got to roll initiative for everyone else too, for all these guys. That's one. <laughs> oh, they all have plus ones. So that's easy. Gosh, God damn it! Ooh, that's a that's nasty. That's bad. We're gonna say that was well, that was the dwarf because that's what I rolled for him. God damn it! Oh, he's probably not gonna last. Oh, baby, scream! You hear baby scream? I did. Oh. Baby scream. Oh wow, this is bad. And then. The two frogs. God, this is just really bad, y'all. That just means it's good for us. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, well, I've decided next chance I get, I'm getting. Oh, that was good for it. me. All right, um, Seeker. That was an actual 20, so I got 22. Nice. That oh, was the... I, need, I need these rolls for actual things. <laughs> that was the uh, that was the same as the other frog or, or the f the first frog. So, um, uh, f uh, Elor. Fifteen. Okay. Just to kind of spoil here, you're probably gonna go before everyone. Elor, nope. like these guys rolled like fuck trash except that one frog that one frog saw you you stab his daddy and is real mad at you i mean you just said <laughs> i got the same as the frog so i think we're both gonna go before that. uh see you'll go first for sure but the frog goes definitely I i'm just saying my rolls were terrible um kelgrim uh 15 what's your dex or i guess you guys can decide who, who goes first uh on your turn and then, uh, Fallbark. 20. If you okay. want to do some magic shit and uh, create some chaos for me to ride in on, that's fine. Fall, Fallbrook, if you nasty. All right. Uh, okay, so in that case, Seeker, you're up first. I can probably do that. Uh, you see this dwarf just take a, take a, just a <laughs> knife or a uh, rapier right in the throat. How far away is he? From you? Yeah. So looking at that map, where would you say you would have been standing at the time? I mean, we came in from C1 and we're right. going into... So you guys would have been moving, I guess, closer. Maybe not as fast as Fallbrook was. So I will say you were probably... Uh, you can't see where I'm pointing, but let's say 5, 10, 15. You're about 40 feet away. Okay, cool. I'll pull out my short bow. Mm -hmm. And go for the one that's he stabbed him in the neck. Okay, yeah, Sh uh, shoot. Now let's see, eighteen. Okay, yeah, eighteen will definitely hit. Okie dokie. Uh, tell me how you killed this man, as he only had one hit point left. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I thought it was gonna be really cool. It's like. So, so, so he stabbed him in the neck. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you pull yep. the knife out? What did you say? Uh, I pulled the rapier out. 
then can I say I shot him in the exact same spot? <laughs> sure, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so yeah, you you stab him in the neck, and then you pull out, and as you pull the rapier out, you see an arrow. It's a different angle, but it goes right in through the same wound that you just hit him in, uh, and he just topples over, just p- blood pooling out from under him onto the onto the stones. <laughs> Uh, and there was only one dwarf, so that's uh, a rap series rap on dwarf <laughs> bandit. <laughs> we like to thank uh, dwarf bandit. That is the change bringer. And <laughs> and you hear the two elves like what the? And they they turn around and they draw their weapons. Um, the frog sees his master fall over, and you're standing behind his master. And if you've ever seen a frog hate. <laughs> now, see, now I was hoping was that it see its master fall and then sees him and it's like, oh, so you're my new master. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's the law. No. no. Um, Dungeon master. It is. Yes. Would you say the frog's hopping mad? This has been Morbid Ambiguity. Uh, <laughs> this cave collapses and everyone in it dies. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please tune in to <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> da, da, subscribe. Da. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, I knew I knew it. Yes, I knew that was painful. Was but it, it was, was worth it. For me as well. Trust me, for me as well. Um, it's gonna hop over to you uh very quickly uh, on its little froggy feet. Over to um, who? To you. Oh. And it's going to attempt to bite you. Okay. Bring it on. Itch. Frog. Wow. Wow. Wait, can, we leave, wow. Uh, uh, can we leave one of the frogs alive? Uh, no. that is a... What is his two hit? Uh, that is a 18 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. All right. Well, maybe you shouldn't, you know, say such language. Well, maybe... It can, Fuck you. <laughs> maybe you can eat my whole ass. All <laughs> right. Uh, that's uh, six damage as it grabs onto your... I mean, you're about the same. It's it's taller than you, um, maybe about the same size, and it like latches on to your arm. And you notice as it opens its mouth, it's a big mouth. It got it got big mouth. Oh, I don't like that. It got big mouth. Uh, it, big mouth that, is bad stuff. As as you realize it got big mouth, it is your turn. Matt, right. are you are you wondering what that mouth do? No. <laughs> In fact, if, if it stays alive, he gonna find out what that mouth do. I ah, mm, <laughs> uh, you see, I'm gonna just stab it with okay. my rapier. Okay, go for stab, it. go away. Dude, just like get the fuck off of me. Oh no, that's not good. That's a nine. A nine will not hit, unfortunately. Um. So am I? Oh, actually, basically... you would have disadvantage on that attack because you are restrained because it's grappling well, uh, you. Okay, well that that's still bad. So roll um, the other, roll it again, and tell me what, what the number. Is. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you you the can't. The second roll was a 19. You fuck. So I didn't mention that you were restrained because I we didn't talk about it. If you want to take that back and say you attempt to escape, you are welcome to try that. Yeah, let but me do that. It, but it would take your action to do so. Okay. Uh, Let me do so that. it is a, I believe it's either a strength or dexterity check against the DC. If I'm not mistaken, I will look it up now. Give me Usually a second. Usually it's uh, athletics or acrobatics versus its strength. I am uh, looking it up. Don't you love when you drop a die and it just disappears into another fucking dimension? Yep. Oh, yeah. I've had that happen several times. And it's always the fucking D4s. Hey, you don't need those. I don't know. I have magic missile. Yes, I do. Yeah, hey, just use a D6 and subtract two. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's how that works. Uh... It doesn't say how. It doesn't actually say what the escape from grapple. What what you roll? Only what the DC is. Hang on. 
I am looking it up now. Someone stall for time. This is usually my job. You can break a grapple by uh, wriggling or by force, which is a okay. contest of acrobatics versus athletics or athletics versus yep. athletics. So it's not necessarily a grapple, but I will a I will act as such. Uh, you are considered restrained, um, and you can make an acrobatics to get out of it. I rolled a 19. Okay, you do. You are able to wiggle out of its mouth, which is not and a statement that is great. I'm going to cunning action disengage and move my full movement away from it. Run away. Seriously, the D4 just up and evaporated. It, that's how it do. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Oh, uh, Matt, I apologize. Uh, a restrained creature does have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So I'm going to have to That wasn't a dexterity saving throw. Was it not? No, it's an acrobatics check. You are right. Ha ha. Fuck me. Um, okay. Then in that case, you are free and you are able to move. I will give you that. And, uh, so that's your, the end of your turn. Yep. Uh, it is now Elor and Kelgrim's turn. All right. There's two elves, you said? Yes, two elves and two frogs. Uh, elf closest, then, mm -hmm. to the dead dwarf okay. is going to take three glowing darts to the face. Ow. Okay. So that is... Oh, oh. That's nine. Twelve force damage. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, you let off these darts and they pelt one after the other, lifting... Like, the first one knocks her into the air and the second one hits her in the face and the third one hits her in the torso and she flips and lands head first into the water and she doesn't come back up for air. She is very dead. And that's well, a magic. Not, well, not very dead, but she's dead. If that's a magic missile is a fun little first level spell. Uh, and then uh, Elo uh, Elor, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna walk down and you know I want to uh, I wanna, as I walk by I imagine the elf is farther back than the frog is mm -hmm. okay so yes I want to <laughs> Uh, walk down. I want to walk towards the elf if I can. Um, but as I walk by, I want to use um, a bonus action to use my <laughs> blood curse of bloated agony. Oh God! What? <laughs> um, okay. Um, it does not say. That it, uh... <clears throat> I hate it. Oh, wait. Does it say that? Uh, wait. Did, um... Did I notice if the, uh... If the frog does, um... Multiple attacks per turn? Did I see that at all? Um, no. Okay. It seems like it did the one. Um, well, I'm still gonna do this because... It will give disadvantage on strength and dexterity ability checks. Um, so okay. That might help if he tries to grapple again. Uh, we'll see. Either way, I wanted to do it. Fair. Um, and then I'm going to keep walking towards the elf. Can I get within range uh, of striking? <laughs> um, what's your movement speed? Uh, 30. 
No, it would. You know, well, I mean, you could if you throw like a javelin or something, but no, uh, he's about Darn. forty feet away from you. They're all about well, forty feet away from you. Hmm. Well, the the uh, I would say the ice frogs are about fifty feet. Do that running javelin launch. Yeah, I mean, I might as well just throw a javelin with my okay. uh, with my free hand. Go for it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Um, the roll itself yeah. is a fifteen. A fifteen? Yeah. Uh, you're going for the bandit or the elf, or the, sorry, the Ooh. frog. Oh, the the bandit. I just wanted to hit the frog with that okay. thing. Okay. Yeah, you you definitely hit. All right, let's let's roll that beautiful bean footage. The way I'm picturing this is that the surviving elf just saw the dwarf get like just throat completely destroyed. The other one flipped through the air and is just staring agape as Alor is just kind of doing the thumb judge for the throw. <laughs> He's like, puts the finger in the mouth up to the wind. Yeah, it's like, just taking his time, because they're like, just Jesus. that, like, oh god. And he's gonna turn just in time to catch it. So I should I should add, um, as I walk mm -hmm. by the frog, um, I imagine Elor just kind of holds out a hand, um, which just, I'm sure blood starts dripping from that hand, um, and the frog... <laughs> begins to swell painfully. Um, oh, uh. I imagine from the veins, so they start to just mm. like swell and get very thick um, and pressed against the edges of the skin, and he starts it, bloating. You can see the, like the yellow veins yeah. of the... Like, uh, it's very bad. Blood vessels start popping in its eyes. It looks like oh, a vein. I don't like this. It looks like uh. a veiny, <laughs> throbbing <laughs> frog. I fucking... I fucked and, up. Uh, the, mm. the the javelin throw is good. D and D was a mistake. It's, uh, <laughs> it is. I don't get duelist with this because it's not a melee attack. You said and fifteen, I'll, right? Yeah, to hit. Yeah, um, that hits. So damage is. Uh, I don't get the plus six, so I get plus four. So ten damage. Okay. Yeah, you. She takes it like right in the stomach, and she grabs her side and she. She pulls it out, and she's got a bad. It's 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 bad. It's a bad wound. I point at the floor and I say, "Sit." <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay. Well, that was horrific. Thanks, Elor. That's my turn. <laughs> um, that's Elor's turn. Everyone, good job, Elor. Clap. There was there was more horror in that segment <laughs> than the entirety of Dead Is Better. Yeah. It was yeah. Great. <laughs> It wasn't great. Uh, the elf doesn't really see a way out of this. They're going to move. Um, it, well, number one, it's going to yell at the frog. You get him! Ow! And it's going to hobble uh, their full movement um, towards the light. Um, and is then going to stop. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Give me one second. That's not what they're going to do. They should hobble their full movement to the floor. Yeah, hang on. Because they're in like a pool of water right now. It's not very deep, but... Um... You know, I wish you could use Mage Hand to attack, because I just want to force choke somebody with it. Yeah. I know that's random, but I'm just looking at my spells, and it's like, I wish I could do this with that. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, I would say that you reduced her to half her hit points or fewer. Um, she is going to very carefully step into the dirt. Step into the, the dirt. Is going to put her hand on her side. Is going to, to take her belt off with her scimitar, is going to put it down, is going to take the crossbow that has around her neck, is going to put it down, and is just going to, hey, guys, can we not kill me? <laughs> Maybe? That's going to be their turn. Uh, the frog is going to, let's see. 
I think it's going to attack the nearest person, which again is going to be Fallbrook. Because Fallbrook is still the closest. Okay. Um, <laughs> where are you? That sounded like it came from the other room. Oh, I'm like... Ah, is this better? Yes. Yeah, I was, uh, I was off to the side on my phone, so it wouldn't cause electrical interference. You're fine. Um, by the way, um, don't draw tiny dots on your knuckles on your hands with a uh, permanent marker because it looks like a disease. Oh, good. Good job. Why did you do that? Uh, that's a, for my turn. That's a 17 on the die, so I assume that hits. God damn it. That's a 20. Yeah. All right, so they're going. They're going to now. Uh, they're biting you again. Oh no. Uh, that is uh seven damage. As it. Your boy is not looking that great. That's the second like max damage I've rolled for these frogs. As it. Uh, this one's gonna bite just like it did. Um, seeker, it's gonna bite your leg and it's gonna start sucking you in like spaghetti. No. <laughs> Him, all, all pretenses of accent drop as soon as he starts dying. <laughs> mind you, mind you, it is bloated and veiny while it is doing yeah, this Yeah, it's you. bad. It's not great. You see some of the blood in its mouth. You probably... It's bad. It's not great. You hope this frog doesn't have the COVID. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that is going to be its turn. Uh, Seeker, it is your turn. Uh, There's okay. a woman on the ground, obviously giving herself up. And then there is a frog, an elf woman, and then there is a frog currently eating your companion. Hmm. All right. Well, clearly, it's just a ruse. She's going to attack us when we get a chance. Clearly. It's just a trick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to attack the frog. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, hot damn. Um, 20. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. You guys killed the other frog, right? Yep. Okay. I, I thought so. Oh, I just didn't take it off my list. That's damage. That's eight. Okay. Wait. No, you, you didn't guys didn't kill the other frog. Excuse me? Shh. God damn it. You didn't kill the other frog. I, you trying, I, was, I was saying, you're like, what, did, did what horrific thing did I describe to kill the other frog? I was like, no, I couldn't think of anything. Um... Um, so what, what, how much you said it was a 20 you hit with? Yeah. Uh, that does hit. And it was, uh, uh, eight damage. Okay. Yeah, it takes eight. Uh, it doesn't, this one seems a little bit hardier than the others, almost like I got its hit points wrong earlier. Um, and, um, it takes it. It doesn't, you know, it, uh, you shot an, uh, a bow arrow at it, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's got this arrow sticking out of its hide. Uh, the other frog. Hang on. Uh, damn it! Damn it! Um. Damn it! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Damn it. Where are uh, Fallbrook? Where are you currently standing? That's a very good question. How I don't think you. Because you moved, moved your full movement, which is 25 feet, right? Yeah, I did to get that. get back towards your compa compatriots. Oh. To get I away from the frog that had grappled me first. I'm going to be honest. I do still think you are the closest to the first frog. It is going to attack you <laughs> again. It's going to move up to you because it's got a faster movement speed than you do. Uh, and it is going to attempt to bite you. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, that's a 15 on the dice. That misses. Uh, I mean, that was on the dice. So that's an 18 total. Fuck! Sorry. Sorry, man. Our boy's gonna get eaten. Um, Your boy has eight hit points. So that's uh, four points of damage. Uh, and it grabs your... Oh, actually, no. It wouldn't It wouldn't be able to grapple you because the other one's already doing it. Your boy is at four hit points. Uh, and no healers, which is great. Yep. All right, one second here. If I die, I die. <laughs> I mean, this ain't this ain't this ain't base game. This is side content. It's fine. Um, 
Yeah, but I like Fallbrook. Yeah, he's cool. You can always bring him back in an, another continuity. Just not this one. Uh, it's uh, your It'll turn. be the new 52 Fallbrook. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's so Fallbrook. It neon is hair. Oh, God. All right, my turn? Yeah, he'll be called Fallbrook X. <laughs> Fallbrook Neo. Oh, God. Springbrook. No, it's got to be all... It's Neo in all caps. Bad. So right. I, was, I was just uh, going to go with the, the, the season theming. Well, no, it's just one L in Fallbrook. It's Winterbrook, it's but it's Winterbrook, but they take the T out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm kind of surrounded by both these frogs. You're also grappled. I'm also grappled. Um. Oh man, if I know that, I want I want to aim for the other frog. I'm gonna um, short sword uh, slash the one that's grappling me, and maybe okay. it'll make it let go. Well, you can also attempt to escape. Um, and you have disadvantage on the attack. So knowing that stuff up front, I'm letting you decide what you want to do. You No takesy backsies. I'm wiggling out. Okay. 23. No. That was way off. Mm -hmm. 19. Yeah, you are definitely able to get out. So you wiggle Cutting out of action. mouth. Mm -hmm. Once again, cunning action, disengage, and then I run my full movement away. I'm once again asking you to disengage and run away. I did. No, that, that it's the it's the Bernie. Oh, it's the, the Bernie meme. Sanders it's the meme. meme. Damn it. Uh, rest God, I want to get one lick in. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you, you, you got a lick. You got more than a lick. I mean, yeah. Well... On a bandit. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, that's Fallbrook's turn. Uh, Elor, e uh, either Kelgrim or Elor, you're up. You can go first. All right. Uh, so we have the two, uh, the two toads. Yes. And the surrendering elf. Yes. Hmm. Her hands are up and she's not moving. <clears throat> Well, is no. any one hand is up? The other one's on her on her arm. Is anybody near the frogs? Or... Oh, you're asking me. I'm just sitting here like, well, I don't know. Are they? Uh, <laughs> uh, there are. Um, currently, the closest person is Fallbrook, though. I think he's kind of at this point. He's probably fallen back to 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 near where Elor is. So I would say it's between... Uh, there aren't any... There is no one within 30 feet of the frogs. 25 feet of the frogs. Are they within 10 feet of each other? <laughs> um, Yes, because they both attacked Fallbrook. So yes. All right, magnify Maybe. gravity. Dang. So that was... Uh, they need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, uh, they will do so by making a saving throw now. What is the DC for the saving throw? 14. 14. That is a 16 on the dice and a 6 on the dice, and they do not have any con, so... Okay, the one that failed will take mm -hmm. full damage and its speed is halved. Okay, so I will say that is frog number one. The one that saved will take half damage. Okay. So that is... 14 force damage. So one takes 14, the other takes 7. Uh, how much damage did you do to the other one, Seeker? With your arrow? It was 8, right? 8. Okay, so it took another 7, so that's 15. So both of the frogs... One smash, you know, they they the gravity hits them, and one of them like smashes harder into the ground than the other one. Uh, they're both looking pretty rough. They are both still up though, and able to move. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to approach the elf. Okay. And then I want to take out my hunting trap. Please don't kill the elf. 
I'm not going to. Okay. Um, and could I just kind of like slam their leg into the trap? <laughs> or maybe like their arm? You know what you should do? Throw the trap in the garden. But preferably their leg? Put their, put their own leg in the trap. Do That's... you have rope? What? Can you show me what this hunting trap looks like? A bear trap. Yeah, it's bear basically trap, a bear trap. Is it a bear? No! You can't fucking <laughs> slam! Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> Why not? Do you think that would do more than one point of damage? Um. Then it kills her. It does 1d4 piercing damage, but could I say that it's non lethal? can't do non-lethal piercing damage with a, with, a, with a bear trap. With a bear trap, no. Though. No, look, it's, I'm hitting, No, it's not. It's, it's to catch yeah. them. Yeah, to catch bears. It, have you ever played... Okay, oh, there's a scene in The Walking Dead where a man gets his... his In the game, where a man gets his leg hit with a bear trap, and they have to cut it the fuck off. I know that you I'm because Gan that. Green sets in and it breaks the leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Bear traps are fucked, by the way. There's a reason. Non, -le non, non lethally humanity. stab them in the stomach. That's self. what you want to do. I'll have to make a bear trap with no teeth. It just Create. breaks the arm. Create projectile wow. bear. I'm gonna tell you right now, with the how she's looking, if you break her arm, she will die from the trauma. Really? I thought she had, didn't get hit at, like, at all. No, she, she, she threw a javelin everything. to the gut. Yeah, oh, she did? I she's she at one her... hit point. Okay, yeah, hey, let's not, let's not. So then I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna to make her. a I'm gonna make a bear trap, but the teeth are made of jello, so it squishes when you gonna, hit it. I'm gonna walk up and uh, God, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at her and say, sit. Just use manacles like a human being. What the fuck? I'm just telling her to sit. No, I meant I meant about humane. the bear trap. I, I meant about the bear trap. Okay. Okay. She hears you. She can't do anything because it's not her turn. Oh come on! Can't she just next up? Sit? Next up is her turn, and she sits. Okay. Well, then, can I tell her to like hand me the javelin? <laughs> no, she took it out. It's like I know, but it's like thirty feet away. Oh, she threw it. She took it out and threw it on the ground, yeah, and then moved forward. Oh, that's right. She moved from where she got impaled. Um, okay. So she does that. Uh, did you want to do anything about the rest of your turn, by the way? Um, well, since I walked up to her, I probably can't reach the frog, so... Yeah, the frog's about 30 feet away from you. At yeah, I, fine. I guess I'll just use the rope. Okay. I do have a crowbar. <laughs> What are you, the fucking Joker? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll use the rope. non lethally beat this woman to death. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to roll a d6. All right, uh, because... everybody, text in to this number if you want the elf to live. Actually, you know what? I'm going to roll a d2. Um... I'm gonna let Fallbrook since Fallbrook's about to die. I'm gonna let Fallbrook call it, um, because the frog is currently equidistant between the two of you. Um, so give me heads or tails, Fallbrook. Tails. All right, I'm flipping the coin now. That is tails. <sighs> I will send you the picture. <sighs> no, no, that means it's coming after you. No! Yeah. You are tails. Kelgrim is heads. It got gonna, tails. It's coming after you. I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> yeah. Shoot your shot? I'm just gonna shoot. Okay. Shoot Wait, what? Is it my, is, is it my turn? No, it's the frog's turn. Who's okay. coming after you? Alright. Uh, he's going to <laughs> bite you? Oh. Yeah, the thing that it's been doing. That is a three on the dice. I don't think it hits. That's a, <gasps> that's a six. Yeah, that misses, um, but... It now suddenly gets <laughs> another attack because I want to kill you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, uh, that's uh, that's its turn, but it's like right up on your face now. You know, I forgot I have two more javelins. 
<laughs> Whoops. Oh. Uh, Seeker, it is your turn. How far away is he from me? How far away is the frogs? Yeah, the frogs, yeah. Uh, frogs. one of the frogs at this point would be, I think, I, about 40 I, feet away. I think the frog is trying to hurt him. Yes. No, one of the frogs, uh, both frogs, I would say, are, be, are within 30 feet of you. <laughs> Since you've been staying in, in, uh, ranged this whole time. Okay. Um. Then how was it equidistant between me and Fallbrook? Okay. Because uh, no, not you. I said, did I say Kelgrim? I'm sorry. It was Elor or Fallbrook. My I was bad. gonna say, like, wait a That's minute. That's my bad. I like, got mid names mixed up. Sorry. So we know, I'm like, I'm yeah. back with C. It would have either attempted to attack Elor or Fallbrook, not not you, Kelgrim. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. It does make more sense though, because you are bleeding in several places, and it does sense a snack. So, it does make sense. Hear that, Fallbrook? Mm. You're a snack. Snack! I was I was mm. thinking of a joke to say. Nom, 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 nom. Um, Don't even. All right, so I'm going <laughs> to, I guess. Yum, yum, yum. Can't believe I'm the only snack in this party. Mm. I can use a bonus action to pull out my. Yeah. yeah, I can use a bonus action to summon my dimension blade. Okay, what does it look like? Um, if you say a keyblade, I will come into your room and stab you. No, no, you. no, no, no. no. Um, <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been thinking about this. It basically looks like... Uh, uh, it's. It looks like a... I get like a cool like metal glove on my hand. Okay. That's made of like a bluish metal, and it looks like a blade of... Like, like, a, like a, uh, a rapier made of light. Ooh, that's cool. So you, you said this light glow up. Uh, it doesn't really shed light, but as yeah. as um, as Seeker summons this rapier in his hand, um, you all see that happen. And I'm gonna run up to it and attack. I guess the frog that's like the frog that looks the frog that hates him. Because there's one that really hates him, right? Uh, I would say you would not be able to reach that frog. You can reach the other one, though. Because um, one frog is about 30 feet away. The other one's about 45-ish. About 45-ish? Damn it. I'll use my bonus. Right, um, yeah, you yeah, know what? I, I you know what? Based on how you guys have been moving and kind of... You seem to be clumping up a bit more. I'm going to I'm gonna actually say that they're probably... They're both within 30 feet. With, uh, uh, roughly about 30 feet. Yeah. Okay. So cool, I'll say you, you can get to either one. Yeah, I want to get to the one that's looking at him with the with them evil eyes. Okay, are you gonna stinger uh, it? Yeah. <laughs> come, come looking in. Uh, let's see. Uh, you just see seekers slide across the ground, sword first, like an arrow. Plus, ooh, that's twenty. Okay, yeah, that definitely hits. All right. Uh, bah, bah, bah. yes, max damage. Uh, okay. Nice. That's a uh, twelve. Uh, yeah, you get in there and you, you start cutting into it where you stabbed it originally, like really getting in and it's hide. And eventually you get down and are able to cut down and, uh, under it and cut its belly open. And these just, you would, you would expect it to be like steaming and hot, like, and, and the, the, you know, as its guts spill out, but it's like cold. Uh, and it, the, 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 uh, as it, as the guts spill out on the ground, it seems to like freeze a little bit around, uh, where they spill out. It's gross. It's real gross. It also stinks. So there's that. Was that the uh, bloated yeah. one he just killed then? Yes. And you're, uh, you managed to kill it. Smells like a dog fart in the bayou. Oh, it smells so bad. Wow, bad. Yeah, it smells real bad. Y you don't know if it's because Elor made it turgid or not. You're not sure. <laughs> That's not I hate that, that word is. so much. That's also not the word to use in this situation. <laughs> this turgid frog. Uh, but you you suspect it might have had something to do with it. And that's the word of the day. Ding, 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 turgid. It God. means not what you think it does. Gross. Um, yeah, and uh, that is uh, that is your turn. Uh, so in that case, Fallbrook, you are up as that thing All dies. All right. 
There's only the one frog left, right? Yes. I'm stabbing it. Okay. Because I'm mad. I'm okay. angry. All right. Uh, As you, you miss yeah, you and can, get you eaten. can get to it. Mm-hmm. Is there any way I can get flanking? Absolutely not. There's nobody within melee. Alright. Yeet. What even Yeet. happened? That hit all of my other dice. Can I re-roll that? Uh, sure. Okay. Because I'm nice. That is a 26. That'll hit. Sweet. So the rapier is going in to the, to the, just the, the, the underbelly. The, the flaccid. Underbelly. Uh, the flaccid oh, mm, frog. I don't know about that word. Yeah. Listen here. I I am the dungeon master. <laughs> I will make up the descriptors for the frogs. It's Seven all points, it's all horny from now on. Seven points of piercing. Uh, yeah. You kind of see the way Seeker saw. It's like, oh yeah, it looks like the underbelly is a little bit weaker. So you wait a couple of seconds. You wait for your turn. You wait for your shot, and then you shoot your shot. And it blows all over the the belly oh, of the frog. Fuck. I was saying, wait, <laughs> what? now God you you're able to cut into the frog's stomach, and it's it's uh, underbelly is is a bit softer, and you're able to just kind of cut it open, and it just spills out. And the same thing kind of happens where it kind of freezes the water around it a little bit, and it definitely definitely dies. Oh my God! Yeah, that's some deep penetration. Oh, damn it! Get it, get it. <laughs> Woof. It Woof. popped it like a balloon. Bad. It's all horny. All the way down. Uh, can, I, can I? Hey, evil thief lady, you wouldn't happen to have any more than frogs around, would you? What are you people doing here? That's not the answer to the question I asked. Thanks, no, there bro. aren't any other frogs here. What are you doing? Okay, not okay, in this okay, area. Okay, what are you doing okay, here? Okay, okay, okay. And I like. Okay, listen. You need to. I know you're okay. I know you're like really close to dying. But you need to calm yourself. Okay? You think? You Look need- at this. She shows the wound. Like it's a bad. It's yeah, bad. I know, it's not great. Like, if she you- doesn't get medical attention, she might probably. Yeah, die. but like you yelling is not helping anybody. Is anyone right a healer? To- no, but look, lady, if you don't calm down. I got real small hands, and I can reach in that wound and fuck it up more. <laughs> How am so I supposed calm to be calm? I'm, I'm dying. Like, I'm dying. It's not uh, helping. She's literally okay. dying. So uh, I have a healer's she's, kit. Um, she's going to roll a uh, constitution saving throw. God damn it. Wait, what? Wait. LR has a, a... Okay, so that's a natural 20. She doesn't faint. <sighs> um, uh, but she is very pale. So I have a healer's kit. It's mechanical use. It's to stabilize people at zero hit points. But could I like use the yeah. bandages in it to stop bleeding? And stuff? I mean, yeah, stabilization, right? Like, yeah, I'll yeah. give you that. Okay. So yeah, Elor will take out a healer's kit, and um, <laughs> uh, I imagine he takes out a water skin to wipe the blood off of his hands um, for assisting sure. in medical aid. Um, but I think what would surprise anyone watching him is he seems pretty familiar with the healer's kit and um he is hmm. he is uncharacteristically gentle at applying first aid she looks up at you and and can't really believe the person who put that giant hole in her stomach <laughs> well, b- well blood drips the down the eye also, slots of his helmet <laughs> yeah who is the one who is also like bandaging her up right now uh and she looks at you like what do you what do you want what are you doing here he just says, ask them. Well, he finishes up, and then when he's done, he's just going to stand up, go collect his javelin, and then like, stand somewhere with his arms crossed. Menacingly. Okay. Making sure to stay in like the the field of view at all times. She looks at y'all. What do you want? We are investigating the disappearance of artifacts from Isilcross. Or rather, they have a property in which they freeze people over time. Yeah, I got some notion. She Um, holds holds her stomach. And we were um, led to this cave. Um, My notes are not very good. What, uh, what are these, you guys... So you were led here by Elro, who told you... Elro. Who told you mm-hmm. that, uh, about the malady, and that Halil 
the sister of uh, the woman, who, the dwarf woman whose name I cannot, uh, Tolgi. Tolgi. Um, Tolgi's sister, Halil, had taken the goods uh, to the Croker's Cave. Do you know of a Halil? Yes. We need to speak with them. She's in the back doing some kind of weird Tiamat bullshit. I don't think it's going to cure, but she thinks it might help. Tiamat? Tiamat. Yeah. The multi-headed dragon goddess. Yeah, Halil's a cleric of Tiamat. Oh, that's not good. Is it? That's wonderful. She looks at you guys like you should know this. Did uh -huh. no one tell you what you were getting into? No. We were told to come here and find Halil. Who told you about who told you this? Uh Elro, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, his Elro. name is uh, Elro. Uh, well, Tolgi told you about Halil. Yeah, yeah. right. Was <laughs> she laughs. Tolgi's keeping secrets, I guess. Didn't tell you about. Didn't tell you about Tiamat, huh? All right. Well, you know, hey, whatever water lizard salamander you guys want to worship is cool and all. Let's go talk to the person. <laughs> what is Tolgi's involvement? In all of this, well, I mean, geez. what's it? What's it to you? You have one hit. Your point. life. Yeah. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh boy. Could I use strength? Um, no. But here's what I will do. Um, you did patch her up. I will let you do just a regular charisma, uh, 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 what is it called? Not deception, persuasion with advantage. Oh, I was gonna say, was was that, that works intimidation for not for me? Um, no. Well, you okay. could, but uh, because because uh, Elor was the one who patched her up, El she is more willing to listen to Elor. Well, that's a dirty 20 on persuasion. So I would she probably says, just say um, everything or nothing. It doesn't matter what it means to me. But she says uh, Togi stole Pelk's Togi stole the artifacts from Pelk's curiosities. We were she brought them here. We were going to take them to Shitty Creek Run to try to pay to try to sell them, but now we're just going to try to get there in a couple of days to hopefully pay for some kind of healing. We're going to we're going to sell them in Shady Creek Run. Okay, real quick. I just want to say it sounds like you're saying Shady Creek Run. Shady Creek I mean, Run. Hey, 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 I know. Okay, I wasn't the only one that thought that. We need to get some who wants to order some Chinese from City Jesus. Walk. <laughs> There's a uh, there's a beer in Shady Creek Run that gives you the runs. It's called sh the Shitty Creek Run. <laughs> anyway, um, she says uh, she says yeah. I'm I'm trying to affect a sort of a. She's in pain, but she's got a bit of a monotone. She says, um, yeah, whatever whatever is got Halil sick. She thinks if she can sell these artifacts. In Shitty Creek Run, she might be able to pay for some healing. They'll go for a fortune there, much more than they would in Pilk's Curiosities anyway. So you're thinking and that if you just got enough money, you'd be able to cure it? Like... You pay for a cleric, a cleric could cure this. Yeah. I'm sure of it. So why hasn't that work, uh, worked yet? I'm pretty sure a cleric's not going to be able to cure it. We have to try. What else can we do? I mean, what we're doing, which is figure out what causes the illness, and then once you figure out what causes the illness, you might be able to work backwards and find a cure for it. This is a curse. You know? This is not an illness. This is a curse. 
Yeah, we're cursed. curses, illnesses, they all come from the same fucking idea. It's goddamn science. She's cursed. Whatever, it doesn't have anything to do with me. I'm out of this life. I'm done. I'm all gonna right. go be a farmer in the ice, I guess. She seems kind of bitter. Yeah, apparently. Can, she looks around. Can I go? Uh, I have no objections. I mean, as long as you can walk. She stands up. Hang on, wait. She says, I'm gonna wait hang second. out of the mouth of the cave for a bit and then head out. Wait a second. Yes? Mm hmm And I'm gonna give her ten gold. She kind of turns her head, looks at the gold. And that's it. I'm just going to give her 10 gold. And they're like, all right, bye. Probably want to stay away from the town for like a while. Or if you're going to she stay there, not you. stay there for a while, you know. She says, uh, she looks back at you and she says, Halil's looking for someone from Tiamat to show up. An acolyte or something that might give her some kind of direction. I'm not saying you use that as an in. I'm saying if you talk to her about it, she may not attack you right away. In fact, I don't think she's going to attack anyone. She barely moves. And she nods at you and walks off. Thank you. She doesn't say anything. Well then, what do we do? Hmm. Tiamat's like a dragon, and like five-headed dragon, and Tiamat's a bit more than that. Yeah, uh, uh, semantics. That's no, not semantics. I. Do you think I could pass off as like a dragonborn? No. Damn it. I mean, I could probably pass no. off as a follower of Tiamat. He's like he's like people who follow Tiamat are like. Well, she's not a dragonborn. You know, she's a dwarf. So, you're, you're, what do I know about Tiamat? I was about to use information, but I was like, do I know that information about I mean, is you can make Tiamat a like a... You can make a religion check. And all of you can make religion checks. Yeah. It's an 18. Okay. That is a 5. Out of my, like, 50 D20s, I... Struggling to find one. 28. Dang. Okay. I get to double my proficiency bonus on religion, history, and arcana because of having nice. a sage background. I'm looking to see if there's actually any kind of... Or not sage, but that's a under uh, lore master, rather. Right, well, I'm looking to see if there's any kind of that. information about... Tiamat in the book here. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything specific about Tiamat in Wildmount, like anything different. Tiamat is an evil six headed dragon goddess. Five. Five headed dragon goddess. Uh, each one of her heads is a different color dragon. In ex in the world of Exandria, she's also known as the Scale Tyrant. Yes. And, um... Yeah, I don't know a whole... That's the problem, is, like, I don't know a whole lot about her in Exandria, so I don't know what to say here and what not to say. Um, I, I'll say that's about the best that you can get, even with... She's more or less app. the same in um, any other D&D settings. She's the opposite of... Um, Bahamut. Bahamut, the Platinum Dragon. Yep. Yeah. Platinum, it's like the Platinum Star or something like that, right? Is, is what he's called. No, it's the Platinum Dragon. You got it right. Is it sure the Platinum Dragon? All right. Yep. Yeah, uh, he, she's the foe of Bahamut, and they, they're they in like an eternal war with each other. Yeah. It, yeah. It's really somebody we don't want to fuck around with. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could probably pass off as a follower of Tiamat because they're all like. No, you yeah. couldn't. Yeah, because she's like an evil dragon, and a lot of people, you know, most people see Tieflings as like inherently evil. I could probably. I think I could pass okay. off as a bad guy. 
I think that's where we're going to leave it tonight. <laughs> All right. I could pass off as a bad guy. <laughs> Um, so once again, thank you all for listening to Moral Ambiguity, Moral Ambiguity. I'm starting to slur my words tonight. Uh, Frozen Sick. I'm going to let Matt take over for all of the information at the end. Uh, I want to thank you all so much again for listening. It's very, very fun running this game. I, I, yeah, I'm having a blast, honestly, despite nearly dying. (laughs) Um, anyway, make sure you follow us on Twitter at AmbiguousPod. Also, announcement, we have a Facebook page now. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, fancy Facebook page. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, like it's, it's just... 2010 uh, again all over again. Ah, uh, yeah. Dang. At 50 likes, we'll release a button. No. No, I'm um, not doing that. <laughs> so hit that uh, like yeah, button it's and subscribe. T- all the links will be in the podcast description, but if uh, you don't have access to the podcast description... Uh, it's just moral ambiguity on Facebook. Um, I think, I think it's at a hundred likes. We get a custom URL. Oh shit! I think that's cool. And we're about we're well over a quarter of the way there. So uh, go like the, go like the page. Follow us on Twitter again at ambiguous pod. Uh, our YouTube channel moral ambiguity. Put podcasts on the end of the search. And last but not least. Give us a five star rating and review on iTunes or whatever other podcast app that you're currently using. And don't forget um, to tweet at Bad Dragon about those dildos we're working on. Absolutely. <laughs> please make sure please make sure that you're tweeting at Bad Dragon about this. It's very important. Yo, you think if we get a sponsorship we can make we can have them make one based on Vareth. Oh my god. I mean anyway, um, thank I you am... thank everyone for listening. This was this joke has gone on entirely long enough. Look, <laughs> entirely too long, I should look, say. As soon as this joke was started, it has been put on my bucket list to help design one um, of those. So we There's probably have... at least one more of these in the Croker Cave, and then I think uh after that, Matt, we're gonna get back to yours. Yeah, um, I think that's a good idea, and then we can always come back to this another time. But I've I've been having a lot of fun with this. I I didn't realize that DMing an adventure like a path like this is 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 like this. It's a lot of fun. And I'm I'm, very, I'm having a blast. Yeah, honestly. I'm having a blast with Elor, cool. and his his backstory has like exploded into my head. So that's great. <laughs> Gross. All right, did it make your head turgid the way you made yeah, that there's, that there's frog blood turgid everywhere? It's a mess. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Thank you guys that so much for listening. Consult the doctor. When I close my eyes, I see him staring at me with the Doom soundtrack playing quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Just BFG edition in the background. Or Fuck BFG it. edition. Guys, a lawnmower. Yeah, that's great. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we will check you guys again in two weeks, probably, I think. Right? Two yep. weeks. So you are right. the Varith Bad Dragon. Pay thirteen ninety nine extra for the drip tray. <laughs> all right have a great oh, one all right all right that's bye. it bye goodbye everyone later <laughs> money is an illusion <sighs> society is a lie we live in a society <laughs>